Hi, my name's Sean, I'm with PSP Products, and in this video we're going to talk about installation of the Vortex Series R surge protector. This is a type one device. It doesn't, that means it's internally fused, it doesn't need any overcurrent protection, so you don't have to install it on a breaker, but installing it on a breaker makes it easier to change it out if you should ever need to. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. Before beginning installation, disconnect power to the panel and turn off the breaker that you're going to install the surge protector on. So begin by making a three quarter inch knockout uh, as close as you can to the breaker where you're going to land the leads from the surge protector. Feed all four conductors through your knockout. and insert the nipple. Feed all four conductors through your three quarter inch lock ring. And secure the lock ring onto the nipple. So we've secured the lock ring onto the nipple but the surge protector is sideways. That's fine, you can leave it like that. The surge protection won't spill out at the top, but we're not gonna leave it like that. We're not animals. We're gonna, the Vortex Series R has a removable cover just so that you can reposition it so that your label is always upright no matter how you install it. This is especially important if you have a custom branded product. Take care when changing out the cover that the gasket stays seated in its groove. Voila. Make your ground wire as short as possible without having any sharp bends or kinks in the wire. Uh, and then just strip it and land it on the ground bar. Do the same with the neutral and line conductors. Once you've landed all of your conductors, restore power to the panel, turn on the circuit breaker and make sure you have a green light on the face of the surge protector. So what we've done here is a pretty basic installation. There was room in the panel and we landed the surge protector on its own breaker. A transfer switch is a special case because it has a controller that like all control wards is susceptible to surges, but it's very far out in front of the service. And so you really wanna get the surge protector, since most surges come down the utility lines, you wanna get the surge protector ahead of this controller. We ship the Vortex Series R with blade terminals, which you can see, it looks kind of like a spade terminal, but the blade is about an inch long. These will insert, you'll insert, you'll crimp these onto your line conductors and insert them behind your service entrance conductors in the lug thus. Uh, to, to our knowledge, almost every jurisdiction that we know of allows installation in this manner because they understand what you're trying to do. You're trying to prevent damage to this controller and preventing damage is what the NEC is all about. Uh, if the authority having jurisdiction, the local authority having jurisdiction won't accept that, they reject it as double tapping, then look for other connection points in this case, you have two bolts holding on the primary conductors that you could insert ring terminals under. Down here, you have uh, something similar, but this is on the, on the load side of the service disconnect, but still on the line side of the transfer assembly and very close 
to where the utility fee to the control board originates. So that's a good candidate. Um, yeah, and that, and that manner try, and with other makes, there might be other connection points with other makes of transfer switches, uh, try to find a way to uh, connect the surge protector ahead of the uh, transfer switch controller.